Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning in today to McCormick Guitar Lessons. I really appreciate it. Uh, today I'm actually going to show you a really, really awesome trick that I look forward to teaching all my students. And this is, um, this is something that uh, is kind of like playing piano, essentially. Um, when you play piano, you have your harmony and you have your melody kind of going at the same time, which is why piano is amazing. I recommend you learn it as well. Uh, so what this is, is kind of doing the same thing. The harmony stuff I'm talking about is playing your chords like this. G, or C at 9. That's all harmony. Multiple notes being played at the same time. The melody stuff is more of this. That's melody. So we can kind of combine those a little bit. Man, it sounds really good. So what I was just doing was demonstrating that in the very beginning of this video. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. First step is, is you got to get comfortable with the harmony stuff, the chord changes, the chords themselves. And today we're just going to stick to two chords, keeping it really nice and easy. So that way, in case you aren't quite as good at all your chord changes, it's still pretty easy to kind of catch along. So I'm doing a G. I'm also doing a C at nine. Very similar. The C at nine is just you know one little step down. Okay, and I'm just going to be using those two chords today. The, uh, the scale I'm going to be using is the open G major scale, or G major pentatonic scale, actually. Uh, and if you don't know that, it's going to be on my website. If you're watching this video on the website, good for you. It's right there below. It's going to be this. I'm just going to go ahead and run through it. So it's all those notes. It's got all of your open strings, as well as third fret here on the sixth. It's going to be the uh, second fret on your fifth string, your A string. Second fret again on your fourth string. Second fret again on your third string. And then we go back to our third fret on our second string. Third fret again on our first string. So all together, it looks like this. You can run through that a different way. As long as you're getting your notes. Okay. So that's the scale that I'm using. You'll notice as well that on that scale, if you're on my website, that there's three root notes. We've got the first one right here on our sixth string, third fret. Another root note is that, is that, uh, that was my bad, is actually the open third string, that's a G string, and then we've got another G right here on our first string, third fret. Okay, so now that we've got you all zoomed up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be uh, strumming this right about here. This is not normal, I'm just doing it for the sake of demonstration, but there's our G. C at 9, here's our scale, okay, and we're going to be improvising with those notes. To start simple, we're just going to use these two strings, the middle two strings, third and fourth, okay, that's going to have a total of four notes, and our root note, as you'll see, is in there, it's that one, it's that third string. So watch what I can do in between my chords. Play a little G. Pretty cool, right? Going back, same lick. Cool, right? The lick is just this, zero, two on the fourth string, zero, two on the third string. And then I'm ending it with a nice open G, which is my root note. So that time I had a little hammer on. Throw your tricks in there. Have some fun with this. Do some pull offs, maybe. Right? Pull offs, hammer ons, all those guys. You can use all those. In fact, they're used a lot with that particular scale. 
So just have fun, keep the strumming simple. Now I'm getting a little bit crazy. On the fifth string I was playing a little bit. And again, I'm just improvising. But eventually what you want to do is you want to work into uh, a nice Okay guys, so I hope that helped, I hope that was clear. Um, all we're doing again, just to review, is just those two chords, G and C at nine, and just having fun, starting small, starting with only a couple of notes, and then expanding to more notes, further complicating the actual uh, improvising that we're doing. But start small, start slow, have fun. All right guys, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. I would love it if you did because it's going to keep you updated on all my new free content that I'm posting on pretty much a weekly basis at this point. So with that said, thanks again for tuning.